Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, it's Chris again. Just wanted to show you guys real quick the new um, Drizzy Full Version 0.2 that came out um, last night. Um, it's based off of a Hikira build that came out a couple days ago. Um, Drizzy got a hold of it, and he said he optimized it about 50 or so percent. Um, and then he released it for all of us to download and try out to see if we like it. And um, there's a bunch of really cool stuff about it. Um, I'm going to show you guys right now. So, there you go. Okay, first off, you'll notice it's really stock. This is the full version, so um, it's none of the TouchFlow, Drizzy TouchFlow 3D stuff. Um, the cool cool thing about it is um, it's got a lot of stock things on it. So as you can see, the throttle, the throttle is, I guess, the uh, stock throttle. It's no longer transparent, which I think is cool because I like seeing this little guy and grabbing it and pulling it down. Um, the notification tray is white, no longer transparent, which I kind of miss. I thought that was really cool about Drizzy stuff was that, I don't know, the cool transparent notification tray. Um, the bar itself you can see is also no longer transparent, like that kind of glass. It's more like an actual bar. It looks a lot like the throttle. So this is actually all stock hero stuff. Um, let's see what else. The um, comes with some apps, stock. Um, one of the new ones is Footprints which everyone is getting really excited about. Don't really know what it does. I think it has something to do with taking pictures and showing people on a map like what you're doing and all that. But the one app that everyone is going buck wild for is Java. Don't know what it does. I think it has something to do with games. Maybe it's for developers. If I click on it, it says empty. There'll be a little folder there and there's like nothing on it. So, I don't know. SD card. Nothing in my SD card. Empty. So, again, kind of clueless when it comes to this Java thing when I find out. I'll let you guys know. Um, so, Jersey hasn't really optimized this, so there's still some weird, not weird stuff, but apps that no one really uses, like stocks. I don't know. I'm not a corporate exec, so I don't really care about stocks and, and all that. So, um, Quick Office and Office Exchange and all that, he'll probably get rid of soon. So... We can look forward to that in the next one of his releases. Um, the widgets. It's got every single widget that you can think of. All the bookmarks, all the everything. Footprints widget, which I've never seen before. Oh, you could like, okay, so you could like say where you're at and look at other people's um, pictures as they travel, I guess, the globe or something. Uh, not really my thing. I don't, I don't do a lot of traveling. Um, yeah, so it's got all the widgets. Um, some of these will probably be missing when it comes... Ugh, don't like the stocks. Just taking up memory, hogging up our, our valuable G1 resources. Um, but most of that stuff will probably be gone by the time he releases his, um, his next build. Um, the home screen itself, you can see, runs really smooth. I have bookmarks. I have uh, a bunch of apps. Some more widgets. The resource hogging weather clock which takes up a lot a lot of resources if you're having a slow system like you notice your phone is bogged down maybe you should take off the weather clock um i have twitter i have everything um i have a class 6 8 gigabyte partitioned sd so that kind of makes everything run really really awesome um one of the issues i noticed with a lot of the older ones i don't know if you guys did too if you have a lot of pictures on the on drizzy's older builds pretty much any build i've ever used that's not built um it doesn't come from this new Hikira one, is that the pictures take forever to load. Normally it would be sitting here for another 5 or 10 seconds, but as you can see they're all here, scrolling around. Normally I'd be waiting for another 5 or 10 seconds, which is really frustrating when, I don't know, just wanted to come in here and look at some pictures or watch a video or something and it's taking forever to load. Um, just really, really bugged me before, so I can already tell that this is a really, really complete and awesome build because, well, this is working a lot better than the old stuff so um once again this is drizzy's full version 0.2 i'll provide a link in the sidebar for you guys to download and try out for yourselves um coming really soon i'm gonna have um make a video about partition sd since i've gotten pretty good at it um i did my friends last night um so yeah you guys can look forward to that. Um, Partition SD. If you guys need anything else, um, leave a comment. Um, if you want a video on anything else, um, I'm gonna have a video soon also about all the apps you should probably have, especially if you have a hero. 
there's some really good apps that you could use to keep it running really smooth and um, just certain things about how to use the hero and like putting widgets on only three of the screens, leaving two screens blank because sometimes that helps. Um, also, if you maybe don't have your card partitioned, you can still use a, a full version ROM and um, change the home screen to not, not the rosy one. That with the seven screens that moves all fluid and has all the cool stuff. You can go back to the stock one, but still have all the cool hero um, apps. So um, I'll, I'll be showing all that stuff how to fully like fully utilize the hero. So um, you guys can look forward to that coming soon. So I don't know. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you later.